Uh, my name is uh, Councillor Simon Alvey. Uh, I am the local Labour Councillor for both Firthcliffe and Windybank Estate. I've been heavily involved with the Windybank Tenants and Residents Association and with the Firthcliffe Tenants and Residents Association. The Up To You process is good as lots of people say that the council don't always necessarily listen to them. This is the council talking directly to people, directly to groups, interested groups who want to take part in their community and want to do good things for their community and say, we have some money available. What is it that you want to do with this money? How can it best benefit you? So it's us directly speaking to the council, to the tenants, obviously through very good uh, workers as well. In the very early stages, there were a number of challenges to be overcome. And the biggest one of those was around the, the T word, trust. Um, and I think that over the years, there's been a lack of trust amongst communities of services and, and to a certain extent services not trusting communities to know what's uh, what's appropriate and what they want to do. My name is Marlene Lees and um, I'm a member of the Overthorpe Tenants and Residents Association at Thornhill obviously and um, I'm a committee member really. I assist the committee uh, to do some fundraising and anything else that's required. I'm the chairperson of Whitaker Close TRA. Um, I've been involved with the Deaton and Brackenall initiative. I am now going to get involved with local services to you. I enjoy doing things for the community to make it a lot better for a lot of other people. Uh, my name's David Dewitt, I'm Secretary of Overthorpe Sports Club. Uh, we're involved with the administration of the It's Up To You Council programme. Uh, we basically uh, administer the cheques to all the local groups that have been successful in applying for funding from the It's Up To You programme. Mm -hmm. I went to uh, the second one that I heard about in Thornhill Lees and uh, thought, oh, I know what it's about now. Get your little stickers, listen to what the group's about, put a sticker on what you think is going to be beneficial to people in the community. And there were various groups turned up there and all a little bit different. And it was it were a bigger uh, audience this time, probably the word had got around. And uh, we had a lovely buffet and lovely presentations from people. And the people that got the most stickers got funding for their scheme, whatever they wanted to do, the projects. We think it's been a success in terms of the aim it was always about creating a space for communities to set the agenda, to make decisions and to see some action that taken as a result, but action that is community and citizen led, not service led. So people have ideas of things that they want to do and their goals that they want to achieve for themselves and their community and they're given the opportunity to do that. So in that sense it's been a real success. The challenge for us is to make sure that we're able to tell that story in a, in a meaningful way. Um, we, we had a lot of attendees that attended and, and I just want to give an example of some of the projects that we, we what we've got money for. Morton has, we've got, um, House has now got a junior bowling club so the 500 went towards new junior team trying to get more youngsters involved in junior bowling. Um, there's also been a, a toddler group that's been set up in Thorny Lees um, and then the TRAs um, Lees Mall have set up um, a garden, a large garden area to get plant, you know, stuff around, plant it, grow it, eat it. So, so wherever you're putting together the produce of that is then used and you know you, you end up eating. So it's brought in different people with different skills agriculturist, gardening skills to come together and share a common theme and a goal to be part of that community. So it's really, it's the project itself says, it's up to you, it is up to you because you're coming together to be part of the wider project. We're very lucky in Kirkley because we have some very, very good community engagement workers. It's up to you project was a very simple and straightforward way of saying to people, Kirklees is here, Kirklees is listening to you, we want to hear your ideas and we want to make your ideas real and this is what, you know, we, we are here for you and this is what we want to do for you. The experience was very enjoyable because I learned a lot of things that I didn't know about and what, and what the group can do and what the group can achieve because with the Deaton and Bracknell achievement 
they've done so much work around, around the estate and also helped other groups in, in different fields. You know, so it's been very useful and helpful for other people. The up, It's Up To You process is uh, something that has, has been very successful, certainly in the Thornhill and Thornhill Lees area, in that it's got out to the public very quickly and without uh, as much legislation as you would normally find when you're applying for funding from the council. So it's worked very, very well. The, the most important lesson, I think, that we've learned as a, as a local authority is, is that actually when all the obstacles are removed and the, the criteria is done away with and the opportunity is just presented as a blank page, nine times out of ten, most of the ideas that were coming forward from the community tally with our big strategic objectives around health, housing, crime, education, cohesion, all of those agendas. Um, there was nothing that was out of left field, there was nothing that was particularly um, beyond anybody's comprehension. Everybody had, you know, there, there were some common themes of ideas that came forward and a lesson I think we can draw from that is, is that actually we need to trust people more. Council are giving the community more responsibility because we live in the community and we know more than what the council do because we're on the inside where the council are like on the outside. So with us being on the inside, which is the heart of the whole programme, we can bring things forward. Every time, every time there's so many interested people in the local, in the local areas, in local constituents, first Cliff and Windybank, there are so many people up there, local residents who want to help, who want to work and want to take part in their community. We need as a council to be bringing those people out and supporting those people. Because at the end of the day, we can have as many workers up there as we want. Politicians can go up there every other day, but if we're not engaging the people and not empowering people, and those people are not feeling valued and feeling like their work is, is appreciated in their community as well as by us, then they're not going to work for us. They're not going to take part in the process and it's up to you as directly engage those people. The community that's been involved in It's Up To You have been very, very impressed with the way that the council have actually put the message across to the people concerned. Uh, hopefully, when it's rolled out to larger groups or other groups in the area, they will see that it's a, a quick and easy process to get some funding and to, to proceed to whatever brilliant ideas they may come up with. It's up to you. It's To me, it's done quite a lot because We've only just started, but as you get deeper and deeper in, into it's, to, it's up to you, it's going to become more, more, more reliable so then people can turn around and say, um, excuse me, but is there any possibility that you can help us? And we can turn around and say, well, we will do the best we can and help you as much as possible. Being a new tenants association, we were looking for ways and means of how to do, get involved and raise funds and the It's Up To You project was brought to our attention, which sounded really exciting. Mm -hmm. People can apply for grants, etc., which is exactly what we needed to benefit people in Thornhill. But also, as a group, people could apply for up to £500. But as an individual, you could also apply for £100. And I thought, hmm, that sounds good. The benefits really are that it's got to the people very quickly. It's brought people together who probably haven't met before in the area from different groups and different walks of life and um, with that the projects have, have, have been processed very very quickly it's the speed and the bringing together of the people which I think is, is the biggest benefit of the pro project altogether. The number of people that have took part in this phenomenon in, I think in, in one of them we had a hundred people coming to vote for projects and that's a lot of people just coming together and I think the other thing that helped people a lot was that the application process wasn't you know it wasn't reams and reams of paper because it puts groups off it puts individuals off you know completing loads of papers and I think because it was a very simple process and like I said to you it's up to you so it's what you put down is what we would look at and I, th and I think that helped a lot of the groups and individuals when they, 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 they went and applied. They weren't put off by applying. 
And the council and the community are all working together, which makes it really ideal because the council, well, they do have a say in a lot of things and it's ideal that they are involved with us. The conversations that we've had with all the elected members have been really positive. Elected members have seen this as a genuine opportunity to have a dialogue with the communities that they represent. Um, so all the elected members have, have been on board with it in the areas that we've run it. We're really keen to explore what other opportunities exist out there for um, elected members to be involved. Certainly it's been opportunities for them to reach out and into you know, the, the, a wider demographic. Um, and also the fact that it's around decision making and citizen led decision making, you know, that's exercising a political will. So I think they've, the elected members have recognised that and seen that this is a positive um, way of building that capacity within the communities that they represent. With areas such as Firthcliffe and Windybank, there's sometimes a perception that people there don't do very much, don't want to take part in things. And as a local councillor, I've found absolutely the opposite. People are up there, people are proud of areas like Windybank and Firthcliffe, as they are of any other areas, and want to do good things for the community. And it's up to you as brought those people out and has allowed them to have a voice and allowed them to feel like people are listening to them and people are seeing what great areas are and what good work is going on in these areas as well. It's open to anybody. Anybody can apply. There's no rules and regulations really for individuals to apply for things. It's about having something, an idea that's going to benefit people in the community. It's also good because any groups can, uh, you know, look for some special support, if you like, to get a project on the ground. And it's for your local community. It's benefiting different people at different ages in your local community. I think it's a good idea. It just needs publicising more, because the more that people hear about it, and the more that people feel confident attending meetings and see how easy it is to present something, five minutes present something, with an opportunity of getting funding to, you know, to benefit your group at the end of it is fabulous. I definitely recommend it's up to you project to anybody um, in terms of how well it's been in terms of the community that I represent. I would say that it's up to you process has brought the council closer to the community and realistically if they can do more of this and involve more of the community and, and other communities within the Kirklees area then the benefit will be for everybody. I think that's, that's pl plain to see. Thank you.